Hey everyone, welcome back to the In this video, we are going to discuss about the foundation item of every business, which is product. So we know that there are different types of product, such as storable product, consumable product, service product, and many more. Here, we're going to discuss about the consumable product. So before that discussion, we need to know what is a consumable product. Consumable product is a physical product and it is treated like a stockable product, exception that the stock management is not taken into account by the system. And this can be explained with a simple example. Let's say a company is running and they, will, they would provide the pen as well as a notepad for their employees for their uh, work. So in this case, the company would consider this pen and notepad as a stockable product, but they won't be keeping this in the system. So let's see how can we manage the consumable products in Odo 70. For that, uh, let's get into the product where you can find the product over here. So the main uh, thing of the consumable product is that it's a stockable product and it is considered as a physical product. And we can buy it, deliver it and produce it in an ERP. So here you can see that to uh, mention the product as a consumable product, you have to set the product type as consumable, where you can choose the sales price and cost of the product. Here you can also buy the product and sell the product. Okay, so um, let's buy the product first. So here, as we know that this is not a storable product, we won't be keeping the inventory of the product, but you can find uh, the stock movement. Uh, over here. So here we are going to create a purchase order. So when you just move on to the RFQ, you can create a new uh, RFQ for this product mm -hmm. and uh, let the vendor be Azure interior and we will be choosing the product as well. Okay. Where we are going to f uh, just purchase 10 pen and you can just confirm the order um, and here you can see we can just receive the item. So currently, uh, when you just move on to the rece uh, rece uh, receipt, you can see that uh, the operations uh, where we have just demanded for 10 quantity and we are going to validate the process. So just click on validate and under the valuations, you would be able to find the valuations that has 10. And when you just move on uh, under the detailed operation also, you can see that um, we have just taken uh, 10 quantity of pen to WH stock and here you can see that when you just move on to the product pen here you would be able to find that we won't be keeping the product in the stock and that won't be recorded in the ERP so let's move on uh, to the pen yeah here you can choose the item which is pen and here you can see that the operation that has taken place because here you can see that the um, in is uh, just shown as number one. That is because we have just purchased the item and just input it into the stock where uh, you cannot find any um, stock valuations over here. Like uh, you cannot manage the inventory over here in the ERP. But you could find the purchased items or the number of units that you have purchased. Now let's move on to the sales module and let's see how can we manage a consumable, I mean a sale of a consumable product. So here uh, we have just received an order from the customer, the quadict, which means the quadict is a uh, an employee of the company side process. So we are going to provide a pen for our employee, uh, the addict for his uh, work. So in such case, we will be choosing the product. So he just only require one pen and let's confirm this. So once we confirm the, uh, the I mean, confirm the quotation, we need to deliver the item to the customer, right? So you can just validate that and under the detailed operations and valuations, you would be able to find uh, all the details over here as well as, yeah, let's move on to the detailed operation and you can find uh, the details of operation over here. And it's shown that we have just picked the item from the WH stock and just given the item to the employee, uh, the go addict. Okay, so let's move on and uh, we have done with that. And it's pretty easy to manage uh, the delivery of the item. So as you just want the uh, product pen here, you would be able to find we have just given one quantity of pen to the employee in the edit. And uh, you can also find uh, the details over here because we have just sold one quantity of the item. 
But in this case, as the product is a consumable product, we won't be keeping the stock of the item. So when you just move on to the inventory, you cannot find any changes over there because um, we know that as a product is a consumable product, we cannot find any inventory movement. So even if you try to check the inventory movement, you would uh, be only able to find the inventory movement of the storable product. So here you can see that these are the inventory movements of the storable product. So if you try to get the inventory movement uh, of a consumable product, you won't be getting that. So uh, that's all about the uh, treating of consumable product in Odoo 17. So hope this concept is clear for you. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.